PC7 here and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the Maple Farm for Farm Sim 22. How the heck did he figure out to come in here and do this? Hmm. Now I'm gonna imagine ah oh, here we go, so now we're back into weeds, eh? Oh, this is gonna be hard to figure out. Trying to figure out where the AI did and didn't get things. Ho, oh, what? That was weird. Hmm. Oh boy. Now I have no idea, and you can't tell by looking at the ground. But yeah, now I have no idea where he actually did or did not um hmm i think what i'm gonna have to do oops that's not what i meant to do is let them hit the next stage and then he hit them with the weed killer because i cannot tell at all where this guy should maybe be going. Well, I suppose the other thing I could do. Okay. Let's turn this on. Now, if I just use this... We should be okay. Alright. I'm pretty sure everything up to this side where it started to get this little piece in the middle should be done. Well, this is my hope, anyway. And then we should be able to pick the rest of it up just based on this. I might even do one line the other way. Like back towards the right. Yeah. Anyway, I do hope everybody is doing well. Sorry about that. It is July the 1st today, also known in this part of the world as Canada Day. Indeed, this is our... Fourth of July, as the Americans have their holidays, so do we. But as you can see, for me, it's just another day of working hard at hardly working. And, uh, yeah, that's the, the beauty of retirement. Yeah, I'm going to do one line on this side, just to make sure that I'm far enough over. We don't end up with some random strip of weeds down the middle. Hmm. Yeah, it's another beautiful day here on the Sunshine Coast. Going to be warm and sunny, the way you would expect, as it is, well, as I said, July the 1st. Summer is well underway. And I think after I get all me videoing done for the day, I'm going to hop on my electric scooter and go tour the town. It should be fairly quiet. Everybody should be out doing July 1st-y things. Laking and boating and swimming. 
There's various events, of course, and there will be fireworks tonight. But I will stay home and uh, attempt to make my poor critters feel a little more secure. Because like most animals, they're not fond of fireworks at all. And of course I got my little outdoor buddy to worry about. Hopefully he shows up and we can get him up and in where he feels safe. Uh, this is going to be a little awkward. So let's let it coast to about there. And then we'll do it to this line. Perfect. Okay. Now. Let's drop this back down. by the uh, messed up swath in the grass there that we are overlapping the one we've already done. So good stuff. We should down and go till we hit the next set of lines. There we go. The lines that are already here on this edge of the field are from the hired worker, but unfortunately they don't go the full length of, well, where you would have sort of expected him to go. Okay, let's do the same here, get to the edge, uh, didn't quite get that one right, did I? Why don't we just all the way here. There we go. And there should be just one left. Oops. I'm stuck. There we go. All right, now the weeding is done. Okay, so let's pop the GPS back off. Auto steer, or whatever we want to call it. And that, as they say, is that. So what does our other field here require? I mean, we're not going to put anything in it yet. This is just curiosity. Just a curiosity. <laughs> um, nothing in particular. Okay. Just needs to be prepped for whatever content is next. 
So let's go home and I'll show you what's going on. Meanwhile, back at the farm. Okay. Um, yeah. Hit the bump wrong and would not corner, I guess. Oh, probably because the front end was in the air. This weeder does tend to hang a little far back. Uh, so I can only imagine it uh, gives you quite a counterbalance on this tractor. As big and heavy as it is. Alright, we're well, glad to get that done. Not that weeding is a huge hard job, but again, nice to have it done. So, I did break down, and after the frustrations of the last episode... and bought a small pallet loading trailer, auto load trailer. So I won't have to uh, look like Mr. Ridiculous, Clueless, Hopeless, Clumsy, Klutzy, <laughs> everything else that uh, trying to load some simple boxes onto a trailer. Make me look. Yes. Now I can just be all flashy, press a button, and ta-da! Yes. Alright, ooh, even our weight needs repairs. Must be banging it into things. This guy, ten dollar. And the tractor, another fourteen hundred. Okay. Everything is a shiny and new. Could use a little fuel, but nothing critical. Okay. stuff it in here. The little red and green trailer there is our auto loader. Like I said, nothing big. I'm not going to make a billion bucks with it. I'm just going to... Ooh, right. You knew that. Lower it down. There you go. Now back it up. Perfect. Alrighty. What else have I done? Well, I found a suitable grain mill. Fairly small, fairly cheap. You are off. Yes. <clears throat> so we'll go have a look at that. But we will also... Not show up empty handed. Let's go grab ourselves. A small amount of wiki goodness. And get started on some power production. So, wheat, yes please. Bakery we put in. And if we come over here. So curious, eh? What are you doing, man? Alright. Now we will tip you in here. Oof, we just fit under that, don't we? There we go. Um. Okay, that might just cause issues, you know? Let's, uh. 
Let's change our tip side to the left. That works for me. Ooh, that's just gonna clear that, isn't it? Oh, 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 oh. Clear and clip. <laughs> Okay, let's make sure that we're going to be doing what we want to be a doing, which is, of course, uh, hmm. making flour, wheat flour to be exact, and activate. There. And the flour we will store. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. There's our first. Turn around, need to make it a bit wider. Okay. Alright, so that is a thing. We'll do that once more. Yeah, I need to thicken these roads a little. It's already got a pretty big capacity available, so that's not bad. I don't think we need to worry about spending money on upgrades, at least not right away, that's for sure. Okay. So yeah, here's our new mill. Like I say, nice small place compared to some of the ones I was looking at where they took up half the back right world back here so is this guy doing a thing or what uh, you are running good stuff uh, oh you've only made there okay I was gonna say you got a lot of wool in there but yeah you've only made 36 liters of
Okay, let's go and see what we've got back here in the land of the greenhouses. So, Mr. Pig Food Mixer, you're missing corn. Okay, got a fair bit of pig juice in there, but you are missing corn. All right, a little bit of strawberry, nice. And some corn, look at that. A couple of thousand liters. We need about 10 more of those. They don't generate a whole bunch of money on their own, I'm afraid. Now, there is a soy milk factory, but, uh, yeah, I don't know that we ever see a return on it. Are those supposed to be strawberries? Huh. Okay. <laughs> I suppose if you only had them described to you, that might be a reasonable representation. Now, of course, we should be able to put proper load of corn in there, shouldn't we? Now, does our little Hopper trailer funnel tunnel thing. Except corn. I hope it does. Oh, right. This weight is. Oh. It fit. Weird. I wasn't able to actually get it up onto the ramp last time. Huh. Well, awesome. There you are. And we don't need a little pokey bit in the front. Let's pop you down here since it's where we put you. Alright. Well, let's go grab our auger trailer. Yes, I know what they're called. And, uh, see if it will take corn, because that was the one issue I noticed with it. It wouldn't, uh... Oh, man, if you're watching, oh, most skilled of, uh, Giants Editor, could you make me one of these, where the freaking legs are a little longer? <laughs> I know Sooty wants one, too. But yeah, you can't fit anything underneath. The trailers don't fit. Tractors don't fit. I mean, I don't know. All right, let's see if we can uh, corn show. Do you even corn, man? All right, here we go. Wheat, no, 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 yes. Wee. Corn, 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 okay. 10,500 liters of corn. Uh, snout out. Oh, right, it doesn't work that way. Um, there it is. It is this way. There we go. Now I remember kind of. Hey, look at that. Oh, I don't think it's ever got that much before. Happened. 
There was something. Oh, I guess it was potatoes it would do, wasn't it? I think all of these sort of things, it's not terribly miserable at. Uh, pretty sure. But it was just the spuds. It would not uh, allow the loading of spuds. I have to use the... Uh, the big wheel loader, the Valvo. It's one of the reasons we keep it around. There we go. I think that thing is upgradable like our factories are. Uh, that's right, I would have to manually change that to a different tipping pattern. However, there we go, we can just do this instead. Hmm, so this has a proper uh, emptying animation, it's actually the uh, pig feeder that blocks it. Okay. Because you notice in the pig feeder it just has a tiny little cone near the exit of the trailer. Alright. I have a feeling it's pretty much filled. Excellent. Strawberries, those obviously just go over to the uh, cake place. But we can let a couple build up, I suppose. And then, of course, there's all these. I think this thing's probably getting really close to being full. So, time to do another run down to the uh, sugar mill. And of course, we can always sell potatoes if they get too uh, over the top. Well, there's only 32,000 in there. That shouldn't be. Uh, an unusable amount.
I think it holds a hundred thousand. So we're already above the amount of sugar beets that should be in here. It's only because we don't have quite that notch in potatoes that it's allowing us to add. So might have to run another load of sugar beets down to the factory. some bread. Hmm. The bread, I don't think we're likely to uh, get much further than we currently are. You got a ton of food. You are doing okay. Yeah, I think these guys will be alright for a while. Eh? So I wanted to have a look at the state of this. Okay, weeds growing. Alright. Well, it's good to know. I think we'll probably end up using the uh, herbicide on that one. Speaking of which... What was it this thing wanted to be able to make herbicide? Hmm... <laughs> this... Salt. Huh. Really? Road salt. See, that's not something a person can make. Right? Unless they have a mine that, you know, happens to be full of uh, sodium chloride. But otherwise, I guess it's something you need to buy. Well, actually, I think I've seen it in big bag form. Hmm. Interesting. Let's have a look. Oh, let's have a look indeed. Road salt, $100 per thousand liter. That's pretty cheap. Pretty cheap indeed, road salt. Yeah, that seems to be the uh, 100 bucks. Ooh, 95. Ha! 300. Oh, 4,000 liters. There we go. That's a pretty good deal. That's a pretty good deal. Um. Okay, so those, those are going to be heavy. So maybe what we want to do, go directly to a tipper, as opposed to a bag handler. See how that works for us, shall we?
because that's pretty cheap. Whereas herbicide, it really is not. So, if we can get away with it, that looks pretty close, eh? Better to produce our own than buy it. Because I mean, the only other thing it needs is water. take all of it. This is the first time in Farming Simulator I have dealt with salt. I think it's been in the game since uh, they introduced Seasons. But Oh, I guess we've still got the tip on the side. That's fine. I just gotta come in a little snugger. There we are. Yes. That should do it. So what do you guys think of this new premium pack coming out in November? Which, oddly enough, is when the next version of the game normally would have released. Personally, I think it's uh, just a little more proof in my thesis that this is going to be a game-as-a-service. Like so many others have gone, rather than a new iteration every year or two. And, uh, yeah, I think, uh, I think that's the way she's going. Last release was the first time that they uh, waited an extra year to put it out. And now this is the first time we've had what is basically a second platinum pack. You know, whether they want to call it the premium pack or not, it's exactly the same. It introduces some new, uh, new models of machinery as well as, I believe, some new... Uh, actual manufacturers, and of course a new map. So, hmm. All that for about the price of the game originally. So they've now made, you know, with counting this new uh, updated one, that'll be basically, you'll have paid three times for the game. So, and You can kind of look at it as they shoot themselves in the foot by having such a good mining system. Um, you know, paying that kind of a price for a single map, which I could go on to, well, their own modding hub right now and download, I don't know, a hundred maps? Right? Um, and a little bit of gear, well, again, Except now we're talking thousands. And it's not like it was iterations ago where you had to go hunting all over the internet 
dip your toe into some pretty slimy puddles to pull up a nice mod, if you were lucky. You know, now, well, everything I'm using in this playthrough, and, yeah, that's not gonna work. At all, there we go. Um, and in fact, for the entirety of 2022's, or well, Farm Sim 2022, uh, has been Mod Hub Mods. Yeah. But let me know what you guys think about this new premium package. It's certainly not something, although I see it's available to do so, certainly not something I would uh, pre-purchase, you know, six months in advance at full price. Thank you. No, it might be discounted. I don't know. Don't, don't quote me on the full price thing. But full pro price, discounted price, it still boils down to the same thing. Overpriced. <laughs> like pretty much everything in the gaming world today. To be honest with you. It's like uh, I said, I did an episode of It's Only Money yesterday, and like I said at the beginning, if it was only money, I'd be playing it on a high-end PC, and likely I wouldn't be playing that game, I'd be playing some huge AAA title. But things are priced at the point now where not only is it incredibly expensive to upgrade a PC, but just the freaking games themselves, you know. When they can walk up to you straight faced and go, sure, that'll be a hundred bucks Canadian. And I'm thinking, you know, groceries have gone through the roof, and that's half of my grocery budget for a month. On a video game? You know? But I see even the indie ones, you know. They're no longer $25 games, now they're, you know, $45 games, so... <laughs> ah, they're gonna price me right out of YouTube. I'll have to focus on old school specials. Yeah. And then I look on Steam today and I see that, uh, Dead Space? The game came out quite a long time ago. Well, I guess they did a remake of it. That came out a while ago as well. They want $60 for a remake of a game that's, what, got to be 10 years old now. I was like, what? That can't be right. And it actually wasn't. It was a, that was a discounted price. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'm just so freaking old school that I, uh, I've reached a point where change is no longer uh, a likable part of my repertoire. Alright, so that... is that end of it. Now all we need... is to shimmy on down here. And it's the white trailer. That's uh, milk and water only. The orange trailer is anything nasty. Me. Oh, I forgot my water tank. Wee is right here. Ooh, easy. Gotta remember that's. Uh, there's a really nasty. It's almost a ditch. It's such a sudden incline. Again, though, that's, that's probably an issue that I find that a lot of people don't, you know. Because we have neither metered water, nor do we pay a special fee for it. 
I mean, it's included in your land tax if you're a house owner, then you do pay for the upkeep on all the gear going to your house, including water. Yeah, we could definitely get rid of that stuff. But luckily enough, this is a country that has a fair bit of it. Hmm, this is going to take a moment. I'm not sure it does. Two thousand bucks to fill the water trailer. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> That's, uh... Yeah. That's something, isn't it? Nice. All right, this is done. So. Yep, twenty thousand liters of water for two thousand dollars. Sheesh. But twenty thousand liters—that's all. It's like a swimming pool. There we go. Hopefully it unloads, yeah, much quicker than it loads. Okay. So now... We should be in. There we go. We're in business. And with that, my friends, I think I'm going to call the episode. I do hope you enjoyed. If you did, please remember to hit that like button. It really helps out. And uh, I look forward to your comments. Take care of each other. Have yourselves a great day. And ciao for now.